This project is entitled Computational Model of the Transition from Novice to Expert Interaction Techniques. This project has been conducted at CNRS and Sorbonne University. I am Gilles Bailly, and my co-authors are Mehdi Kamasi and Benoît Girard. In this presentation, I would like to argue for more changes between researchers in neuroscience and researchers in HCI. Why? Because many HCI problems involve subtle learning and decision-making phenomena. These phenomena are extensively studied in neuroscience. To convince you, we present a novel HCI model inspired from computational neuroscience. This model explains the transition from novice to expert interaction techniques. Which interaction technique are we talking about? We are talking about menus and keyboard shortcuts, two common interaction techniques for selecting commands. First, let me illustrate the performance of menu. Menus are especially useful for novice users. Users that can easily discover, navigate, and select commands with a pointing device. In this example, I'm selecting two commands in the menu, copy and paste. You can see on the clock that this interaction technique is quite slow. In comparison, shortcuts are much more efficient and appropriate for expert users. I am selecting the same two commands, but now with their corresponding keyboard shortcuts, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. While voluntary interacts slowly, you can see that it is much faster. Keyboard shortcuts are at least two times faster than menus. So we should make the transition from menu to shortcuts. Unfortunately, we observe that many users do not use keyboard shortcuts. They continue to use menu. Of course, keyboard shortcuts are much more difficult to remember, but the efforts are worth doing as we can save a lot of time. Our objective is to explain and predict how users adopt expert interaction techniques such as keyboard shortcuts. More precisely, we want to explain when do users decide to learn shortcuts, how they learn shortcuts, and when do they adopt shortcuts. It means when users really execute shortcuts. To answer this research question, our approach relies on computational neuroscience. Computational neuroscience studies how humans and animals make decisions and how these decisions evolve over time. They propose theories, frameworks, models, and methods to study how humans and animals learn and make decisions. We argue that these contributions in computational neuroscience can benefit HCI. Regarding theory, we build on computational rationality. The idea is that humans choose actions maximizing long-term expected rewards given their limited cognitive resources. Regarding framework, we formulate the problem of the transition from novice to expert interaction techniques as a reinforcement learning problem. Given a state, a given command, copy or paste, which actions the users will choose, choosing menus, choosing shortcuts, or learning shortcuts. This depends on the long-term rewards, how much time will be saved. Regarding models, we consider three benchmark models in computational neuroscience, rescolar wagner choice kernel and the combination of both. This model often well captures learning and decision-making dynamics. Finally, Regarding method, we use state-of-the-art method to evaluate and compare models. I invite you to read the article for more details. One of our contributions is to apply these models in the context of shortcut adoption. Then, we tested this model on the task of Grossman et al. In this task, the stimulus is an image and the participant has to execute the corresponding command. Without additional information, the participant explores the menu and clicks on the corresponding menu item. He can pay attention, or not, on the keyboard shortcut Q. With more practice, when the same stimulus will appear, the user might decide to use keyboard shortcut. So, the models should predict whether the participant will choose the action menu or the action shortcut. To compare the models, we compute the BIC score and perform simulations. You can find all details in the paper. All in all, the three models do not reflect well participant data. So, we present a novel computational model called transition. Transitions relies on five cognitive mechanisms, explicit and implicit learning to describe how users learn keyboard shortcuts, memory decay to reflect the fact that users can forget the mapping between a command and the corresponding shortcut, planning to describe the fact that users do not always consider what is the best strategy now, 
but also compute what will be the best strategy considering a longer horizon. And perseveration is the idea that users tend to reproduce the same strategy. We compare our model to the three benchmark models. Results show that our model significantly outperforms the three other models according to the BIC score and model simulation. So this time, our model much better reflects participant data. Our model relies on five cognitive mechanisms. One question remains, are these five mechanisms necessary? For instance, can we obtain the same results without the implicit learning mechanism? To answer this question, we consider five variants of this model. For each variant, one cognitive mechanism was removed. Results show that the model with the five cognitive mechanisms better reflects participant data than the five variants in terms of model fitting. The five cognitive mechanism seems to be necessary. But when considering model simulation, two variants are slightly better than our model. This result suggests that the role of perseveration is not clear. To conclude, we presented a novel computational model to predict and explain shortcut adoption. Our model outperforms the three benchmark models in number of science. Our results also suggest a clear role of four cognitive mechanisms explicit and implicit learning, decay, and planning. However, the role of perseveration is less clear. The more general message in this one, we should favor changes between the neuroscience community and the HCI community. Researchers in neuroscience have many tools to study phenomena in HCI, such as learning or decision-making with interactive system. The elaboration of the first computational model addressing the transition from novice to expert interaction techniques illustrates the benefits of computational neuroscience for HCI.